Hey, it's Kat from Fit Kitty Tries, and if you are subscribed to my blog, you will have already seen the updated tutorial on how to create negative space, also known as a transparent outline, around anything in Canva. In this tutorial, we'll explore part one, which is creating a outline on anything in Canva, be it a text, a shape, a object, an element, a photo. I'll show you how to create a nice thick outline using the features in Canva. This is especially helpful for those elements that don't give you the full photo editing options. I'll show you how to get around that and create a nice thick outline. In part two of this video, I'll show you how to make those outlines transparent so you can create negative space or those see-through transparent spaces in your design to create more complex designs for your print-on-demand business or whatever other entrepreneurial design pursuits you might have. Before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss part two of this video. And if you haven't already, head on over to fitkittytries.com to check out the blog. You'll be the first to know about different Canva hacks, print on demand tutorials, and other side hustles and money making hacks, as well as insights from a Canadian entrepreneur. Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So for a lot of the features in this tutorial, you will need a Canva Pro subscription. For example, this font I'm using right now is actually a font that I got off of Creative Fabrica and uploaded as a custom font here. It's called College Block 2. And if you've played around with Canva, you know that there is an outline effect for any text. You just go to Effects, go to Outline, and then you can choose the color and thickness to apply an outline to any text in Canva. Canva also has a border feature for any of their shapes here. So if you go to elements and shapes, these are the shapes that they offer. And you can click on these three lines here to add a border to any shape. That's where Canva's features for adding a border or an outline end. Once we start using elements or photos, there is no option to add a border or an outline. So I found this little element within Canva's graphics section and when you go to edit photo, there is no option to create a border or an outline. So this is the first hack that I'll be showing you, which is how to create a border or outline by using the edit photo features. So what there is, is a shadow feature. And if you go to the glow feature, you'll notice that the shadow goes all the way around the outside of the element, basically creating a border. So in order to create an outline, we'll turn the blur amount down to zero and then turn the intensity up to 100. From there, you can play with the size and you can change the color of your outline that you've created now. Where this gets a little bit tricky is when you choose an element that doesn't have the shadow feature. So when I go to edit image here, you'll notice that I don't have all of the edit photo features that were available with this element here. So it says edit photo, this says edit image, it's slightly different. So in order to get the full editing options with this element here, you just need to download it and re-upload it as a photo. So what I like to do is copy it over to a blank page so that it's the exact size that I need, download it with a transparent background, and then re-upload it. So when you upload it, it'll be the exact size that you need it if you size it to your canvas like so. And then from there, you can go to edit photo and again, do that hack I showed you by using the shadow effect, the glow effect, and changing the blur amount to zero, the intensity up to 100. Again, you can play around with the size of that and the color to create the outline effect. And as you can see, it looks pretty good now, just like that. So some fun ways to use this feature are to layer elements such as these hearts. Again, I had to download them so I could get the full edit photo options and then added an outline or border here so that I could layer these really nicely. Another fun way to do this is if you upload an element. So I found this element on Creative Fabrica. Again, Creative Fabrica is a database that has a whole bunch of different images and text that can be used for print on demand. You can find the link below. It's super valuable in that it only costs you about four or five dollars per month. And it's the second subscription after Canva Pro that I would recommend getting. You can add outline again. This is using that shadow effect just to enhance your designs. And then finally, let's talk about adding an outline or background to a photo. So you will need to remove the background on a photo. I found this photo inside Canva. Once you've applied the background remover effect, then you can go ahead and add your outline using the shadow effect. I hope you found these design hacks helpful. I love sharing cool ways to make complex designs using the simple features of Canva and Canva Pro. 
Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. This is just part one of a two part tutorial on how to create transparent outlines in Canva, also known as negative space by using these outline hacks. If you want to be the first to know about new Canva hacks, print on demand tutorials, side hustles and money making hacks, make sure you follow me on my blog fitkittytries.com and I'll see you in the next video.